Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Y2. Last time around we did area 8 of the Y3 Hollow and today it is time for area number 9. So we only got two more areas to go now. After this one we only got one more to go and I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did uh, last, ep last episode is I'm going to I'm going to uh, speed up like everything uh, except for when I battle the gay trainer of course the boss trainer and when I go down to another floor because let's see how many floors there are here okay 14 okay there's three different different floors in this place so I'm going to go just go right on and uh, speed up everything so I will see you guys later I guess
And I think we're pretty much done here with this floor. Only 45 minutes in, we're done with the first floor. I gotta admit, I was extremely lucky to have made it this far because that nurse trainer and that Durant have missed the iron head, which would have taken me out, which would have ended this this area for me 30 minutes or so in. That was, I mean, extremely lucky for me still being here. But anyway, now it's time to speed up again. So, I will see you guys a little bit later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Good job making it this far. I'm the gay trainer. It's my duty to test your skills and see if you're strong enough to face the boss trainer. Well, that was unexpected. The first trainer on the second floor of Area 9 is actually going to be the gay trainer. Amory and his closer are just going to be perfect for, uh, for Mr. Kratos here. Kratos has been getting some... Like, he's crazy over, or not crazy over level to the rest of the team, but he is over leveled and he's kicking major stuff right here. Even though some of my Pokemon are down, I mean, Kratos is still is still at full health. Steelix, uh, if I'm going to be honest, I'm not 100% sure about them, simply because of the fact that I think Steelix can have Sturdy, and I would probably rather Shabby go down than Kratos, since, uh, Kratos is more of the power Pokemon. The Pokemon that has like a wide range of moves is very powerful, can hit a lot of things, and yeah, generally I probably want to have Kratos alive more than uh, Shabby. And I don't know what kind of berry that Steelix probably has. Yeah, there's the sturdy. Here comes the earthquake. I think. Okay, that's the Cypress berry, right? Yeah. Curse! Ooh, that's. That's lucky. Thank you very much for using Curse, Mr. Mr. Steelix, dude. Thank you very much. And it goes down. And we have now defeat, defeated the Gay Trainer. Now the only thing that we need to do is pretty much go through all, like, the rest of this floor and the next floor. And to see where the, where the gate is, because I don't think we've actually seen it yet, so... I'm just go ahead, going to... It's on level 15. Okay, thank you very much. He's on the next floor, so if I want to go there, I'll go there. But, you know what? I think I need a little bit of more training on my Pokemon. So, let's speed things up.
then I think that's pretty much bottom level 15. Only one and a half hours in. So it's pretty much 45 minutes per floor. That is kind of ridiculous, you're saying. It, I mean, if I would have done this like what I do usually with like 20 minute parts, I mean, one area would probably become like probably a five five or six parter which is just ridiculous but anyway uh, I'm actually going to take a little, little, little bit of a break here not in the video but uh, in real life because uh, clock is getting to be a little bit much as you, you can see the time it has taken because you can see the time on the on the little screen so I'm going to be back in a little bit and we are now back and it's now finally time for the final floor here in area 9 so it's time to speed up once again
And I think we are finally here at the gate. Let me just go ahead and save my game. That, that, uh, as always, takes a lot of time. It's been pretty much 45 minutes per, like, floor. Almost 45. This one was probably around 40 minutes, but still, this, this just white tree hole of business is taking a long time to record. So that's probably why it's not coming out, like, super freaking frequently because it takes a lot of time to record and you know I don't record every day I record when I'm in the mood and when I have the opportunity all right it's time for our second try I lost I lost the first battle and uh, I will start off with sub Sabaku this time around because I think that he is pretty much the best option for the for the first Pokemon so here we go! Show me what kind of strength you have! Yeah, I just skipped over that dialogue, I don't know why, but here we go! The battle against boss trainer I Iria! She is going to start with a level 77 Salamence. And the Salamence is one of the most powerful Pokemon in the game. So I know that she that she's going to start off with an outrage because you know that's just how Salamence's rules. So I'm just going to go into that move. To take it, then bring in Kratos because Kratos will resist Outrage and he will be able to hit them with a Rock Slide or a Dark, dark Pulse or whatever I want to hit that Salamence with. So that is my strategy at the moment and Salamence is very quick so last time around he outsped, outsped like all of my Pokemon except for maybe the Moo if I would have tried it out. But yeah this Salamence is not to play around with so I'm just going to go for a rock light. It's super effective. Yeah, as you can see, the Solomon is faster than Kratos, so he's 12 levels higher than it. That's just insanity. But I do think the Solomon will be, uh, will be, uh, yeah, it's still in outrage mode. So if I'm just able to hit this rock slide, I will be able to take it out. Uh, no problem, no problem at all. Yes, yes, I hit the rock slide. So there we go. Solomon is going down. So, probably one of her toughest Pokemon is done because next up is going to be a Moltres! So I'm just going to switch right out of there to bring in Sabaku. Sabaku is pretty much the best option for the Moltres at the moment. Because he does resist, uh, resist the fire type moves and uh, I'm not expecting Moltres to have anything that is going to be super effective against Sabaku. And Moltres is level 77, a uh, fire flying type slower than Sabaku so Rock Slide BAM! You're going down, Moltres. You are going down. There we go. Not, not too bad at all. And last up on the roster is going to be Raiko. I think we got a good opportunity here, people. Raiko, level 77, pure electric type with a pressure ability and the air balloon. So you gotta keep that in mind. The air balloon is don't use earthquake on this thing right off of that. I recommend you hit it with a uh, with it's even going to use Magnum Christ. Okay, I'm not even going to be able to hit it uh, with a uh, grounding move now, but hit it with a physical move, and its air balloon will pop. And then next turn you can use Earthquake, and uh, you will be able to take out take out the Raikou. It's going to hit me with a shove. Oh yeah! Oh oh yeah! I've completely <laughs> I completely forgot about the Magnum Christ, but. But Sabaku will be able to take the Shadow Ball. And it's time for the Outrage! Death in! Going down the hole! We're done! We're done with Area 9! 30,000 Poké Dollars! Woo! What amazing strength! You might just have the kind of strength that I've been looking for. I feel the same kind of strength from a young man I battled some time ago. How did you come across such strength? Tell me your secret someday. And it's done. It's done and we're finally done. With Area 9. So, we will receive our prize, which is definitely not good enough because this has taken over two and a half hours to complete altogether. It's just madness how long some of these areas are. Two health wings. Really? Really two health wings? Okay. I completely forgot what the health wing do. Night of Feast. It slightly increases the base HP. Oh, it, it's basically just like 
a HP up, which we can't use on our Pokemon because uh, so yeah. Well, anyway, someone has definitely gotten like completely over leveled right there, Kratos. Uh, method level five, and he's now at level eighty-nine, the highest level Pokemon I've had in a Let's Play ever. It's quite just insanity, I must say. It's got, I mean, the kind of trouble with, like, when you have a one really strong Pokemon and then, like, five kind of mediocre ones, even though I have Sabaku, who's level 85 too, is that if Kratos goes down, it's, I'm kind of in trouble. Apollo is the one that's, like, just sitting around and doing nothing. I know he's got amazing special attack, but he's just so slow, so I don't think he, I mean, he's not able to, to, like, do like a like a whole lot uh, I mean it's not outspeeding Pokemon so I don't want to have him up front because the Pokemon I have want to have him up front is one with a wide moveset who is quick and can hit really powerful I think I've said this before but that's what you want to have because this is not easy by any means in my opinion what you probably should have is like rest or synthesis or recover on your Pokemon so you'll be able to recover your HP when you don't have, like, when there's not, like, a nurse, because it's only, to my knowledge, one nurse per floor, and there's, like, three floors. And, uh, as I said, they're, like, 45 minutes each, and there's a lot of battling. And the Pokemon I have the most trouble with is Slacking and Snorlax, simply because of the fact that they are only weak to one type, and that's fighting. And uh, both of those will be able to hit Kratos super effectively with like Hammer Armor and Earthquake. So that's probably why I should have Umi alive. Because if you've seen, if I when I fought Slacking or one time I think it was, uh, I brought in Umi so it could hit me with an Hammer Arm but completely missed them. Then I could get off some damage and then after Umi went down I could just switch to Kratos and finish it off. That damn berry that weakens uh, Padding types fighting type moves that that's just a pain in the butt that is probably that is probably the worst item here because and Machamp could be a little bit of a pain too because yeah dynamic punch is not fun and it's quite bulky so he's actually able to live in Aurora Sphere from Kratos well I don't know about now well we're going to see when we're going into area 10, we're going there next time as we're going to the final area in the white triolo. Be excited or be terrified. I will see you guys then. Goodbye.